Imagine finally crossing off every item on your to-do list, a life where every project you start reaches completion. It's not just a dream, it's entirely possible. Today we're uncovering the proven methods to boost your follow-through and make unfinished a word of the past. From tackling procrastination head-on to mastering the art of self-discipline, we're about to embark on a journey that will redefine your productivity. And it all culminates with the wisdom found in a transformative guide by a master of motivation. Today we are going to talk about the book, Finish What You Start, by Peter Hollins. This book is a guide to help readers develop self-discipline, improve focus, and execute their plans effectively. Let us begin by discussing the key takeaways. Focus on the end goal. By focusing on the end goal, you maintain a clear direction and purpose, which helps you stay motivated and on track despite challenges or distractions. It's about keeping your final destination in mind and making sure every step you take moves you closer to that point. Write down your goal to make it feel real. Break your big goal into smaller steps so it's not so scary. Don't be diverted by new things until you've accomplished your aim. Check how you're doing sometimes to make sure you're still going the right way. Pat yourself on the back for each small win on your way to the big one. Setting and achieving goals, Hollins posits that when goals are too large or abstract, they can paralyze us with a sense of being overwhelmed. This paralysis is the antithesis of productivity and can lead to a cycle of procrastination and self-doubt. By setting realistic and attainable goals, we create a psychological environment where progress is not only possible, but also expected. It's similar to drawing a course on a map. While the objective may be far away, the route to it is highlighted by checkpoints that guide and comfort us along the way. Overcoming procrastination, the writer suggests a straightforward approach. First, it's important to figure out why you're putting things off. Maybe the task seems too hard, or you're not sure how to start. Once you know the reason, you can deal with it directly. Setting deadlines is another key strategy. Deadlines create a sense of urgency that can motivate you to get moving. They act like a countdown, reminding you that time is limited and you need to act. Discipline and Persistence Discipline is portrayed as the backbone of goal completion. It involves setting up systems and routines that help you stay on track. This could mean organizing your day in a way that prioritizes your most important tasks, or it could involve setting up rewards for yourself when you meet certain milestones. Persistence, on the other hand, is about maintaining effort and determination over time, especially when faced with setbacks or challenges. Holland suggests that persistence is fueled by a deep understanding of your why, the reasons you are pursuing your goals. When you have a clear and compelling reason to achieve something, you're more likely to persist through difficulties. Dealing with distractions. Create a Zen zone. Your workspace should be a distraction-free sanctuary. Keep it tidy and only have what you need for work. Think of it as a mini retreat where you can focus. Tech with intent. Use technology as a tool, not a distraction. Set specific times for checking emails and social media and use apps that block distracting sites when it's time to work. Temptation. Bundling. Pair a task you're avoiding with something you enjoy. Love listening to music? Only do it while you're working on your project. Self-motivation. The strongest drive comes from within us, our desires and aspirations. It's like having an inner flame that keeps you warm against the cold winds of challenges. Think of it as your mission. Maybe you're learning a new language because you dream of traveling the world, or you're building a business to leave a legacy. These personal motivators are powerful because they connect with your core values and passions. They're uniquely yours. Execution. Holland suggests that execution is where ideas come to life. It's the bridge between aspirations and reality. Without execution, even the most elaborate plans are just daydreams. It's the difference between intending to save money and putting a portion of your paycheck into savings each month. Execution is about making consistent efforts, step by step, to bring your vision to fruition. And that's a wrap on Finish What You Start. Whether you're a student, a professional, or anyone with a dream, this book is your companion on the path to accomplishment.